Oh, hello, this is Tak Chung from Walk With Tak. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Now, today I'm going to show you how to cook fish. Now, the fish that I'm going to cook today uh, is bluegill. Uh, I have a friend, he's a wonderful fisherman. Uh, he always go out uh, to uh, say special places like a lake to fish, and he will catch a large number of fish. And he will uh, fillet them and give them to me. I discover I have a great way to cook them. So what I do is that I cut them up into small pieces that are easy to manage. And then I store them in Ziploc sandwich bag, usually just about right for one meal. Now the beauty of this method is that then I freeze them uh, in a flat layer. So this way uh, that uh, when they are frozen, I can stack them up uh, basically in a vertical position that save a lot of space and also I can find them easily. And when I'm ready to use them, I put them in a bowl of warm water and they will thaw out in about 10 minutes. Using this method, uh, I'm able to eat fish almost any time I want. Uh, today, I'm going to show you actually truly probably one of the best way uh, to eat fish, particularly uh, white fish. What I do is that I will coat the fish with cornstarch. But the magic in making this fish taste great is that I will add my basic seasoning to it. Now, the basic seasoning uh, contain lemon pepper, and that really makes the fish taste great. And of course, uh, it contain mushroom seasoning, it will add umami flavor to the dish. Now, coating them with cornstarch, which I add a little bit more in this case, will give them a nice crispy texture. Uh, this makes the fish uh, taste uh, almost like deep fried, but not quite. But it gives the fish a wonderful flavor when it combines with the basic seasoning mesh. Now, you can use this method to cook almost any type of uh, white fish, such as uh, talapi, which is excellent, and uh, catfish does it also very well. Um, now, once they are ready, uh, I'm going to use a method which I call it shallow frying. I'm going to cook this uh, uh, dish in uh, a cuisine 14 inch stainless steel wok. Now, I really enjoy using this wok uh, because it has a large flat surface area. Now, in this dish, I'm going to uh, use something quite interesting. Uh, I'm going to cook this dish in a combination to, uh, with uh, a uh, mixture of uh, oyster sauce and a touch of hoisin sauce. But the key uh, attractive aspect of the dish is that I'm going to cook it with romaine lettuce. Now, most of uh, people think of romaine lettuce is mainly used for salad. But romaine lettuce has the kind of texture, it actually stir fry really well, particularly when you stir fry very lightly. So in this case, it still retains the uh, crispy texture of the lettuce, but at the same time, uh, it provides excellent flavor. And you almost feel like eating a warm lettuce, uh, a warm lettuce salad. But it makes uh, romaine lettuce has much greater versatility uh, because if you can do it this way. So here uh, I'm going to uh, season the wok with my start, spot seasoning method. I'm going to heat up the oil uh, until it starts to smoke and I'm going to let it smoke for about uh, 10 or 15 seconds. Uh, this will create a non-stick cook surface. Okay, now I'm ready to cook. So this dish is going to cook very, very rapidly uh, simply uh, because uh, that uh, the fish is very thin. I'm going to add the fish directly um, to the wok. Uh, now, the reason that I cut the fish into small pieces like this is the speed. Now, a lot of time, uh, for example, uh, I have a friend that he uh, also like to eat uh, bluegill or actually uh, other type of fish as well, uh, but he will fry them in a much bigger pieces and he usually uh, deep fry them. Now, deep fry is great too, but in this case, you will have to coat the fish with uh, usually with a uh, flour, and uh, that takes longer to fry the fish. And also, the texture uh, of the breading is slightly different. Now, for everybody who has had the fish that I cook this way, they really enjoy it because the breading is very, very light, and uh, it gives uh, extremely delicate uh, uh, flavor to the fish. Now, uh, you can use this method uh, 
cook uh, other type of fish as well. And another type of fish I find it works really very well uh, is tilapia. Now, uh, tilapia uh, has a much more, um, perhaps I would call it a softer texture. And uh, so, in fact, you, this method will help the tilapia to retain texture. So when you do stir fry them, they do not fall apart easily. Another fish that I really enjoy using this method uh, is smallmouth bass. Uh, we live along a uh, small river in central Illinois called the Vermilion River, and uh, there's a large amount of smallmouth bass in the river. Now, personally, uh, I do not fish, but I have some friends come to fish, and they can easily caught, uh, catch uh, about uh, maybe 50 fish, you know, in about a several-hour period. And some of them are, can be pretty big, up to uh, one or two pounds. So as you can see, the fish fry very quickly and because the fish is very thin. Now, uh, the fish is almost done. At this point, uh, I am going to add the romaine lettuce to it. Now, the romaine lettuce doesn't have to be cooked much at all. Uh, all you have to do is slightly toss it with the fish. The romaine lettuce serve two functions. One is that, of course, for the culinary pleasure. But the another function in adding them is that because it will reduce the temperature uh, of the wok together with the fish, uh, it will actually protect the fish from overcooking. And by this time, I already shut off the heat and the dish is done. I uh, give a very, very light touch of uh, oyster sauce. Again, it depends on how you like your fish. In fact, uh, the fish tastes pretty good the way as it is. And, uh, but the light oyster sauce will uh, provide uh, just a nicer uh, umami flavor that adds to the romaine lettuce. In some way, you can consider that almost like a salad dressing. Now, you can uh, season this dish in many different ways. Uh, sometimes I will add a uh, teriyaki sauce. The key is that don't use too much sauce because if you use too much sauce, uh, it might affect the natural flavor, both of the fish as well as the romaine lettuce. This makes a, a very nice light meal and you can serve it in many different ways. Um, one of my most popular way in serving this dish uh, is with some pasta noodles. A lot of time I will some extra pasta noodles available, so I will add the fish over the pasta noodles, and in this case, I might add a little bit of other type of sauce as well. So finally, I'm going to touch up um, the fish with uh, a little bit of a hoisin sauce. Again, there are almost infinite way you can season this very, very light dish. Uh, I love this um, dish with this bluegill and romaine lettuce. It is a one of those dish. Both of the ingredients has very delicate flavor. When you combine together, it provides an excellent uh, quick meal. It takes only about five minutes to cook this dish. And usually by the time when I walk into the kitchen, the first thing I will do is to thaw out the bluegill, and that takes about uh, five to ten minutes, and I'm ready to cook. So, uh, when you have a meal like this with this kind of uh, uh, outcome, there's no reason for you to eat fast and processed food. Uh, I post a video each day to help you to make home cooking as part of your daily routine uh, using my fast cooking system uh, that is practical, uh, efficient, creative, and fun. Uh, so keep on cooking. I will see you tomorrow.